You're listening to Greater Good Radio Hawaii. Please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. Today we have a group of students from Punahou School, River Kim, Tierney Murikawa, and Jackie Chang. They're here to share with us about their fundraiser, Malama Jam. Within three years, they've already raised about $57,000 gross for local charities. So are you able to tell us more about Malama Jam? You know, I know it's into music, right? Why music? Well, for the music, we wanted to show, I guess well, our whole goal for the project is to show that kids can make a difference. So for the music, we wanted to show kids actually sharing their talents as musicians. So we went to different schools and contacted kids from public schools and private schools, and they auditioned for us. And so we didn't just want to make it a punahou thing, so incorporate How others. do you get other kids? I mean, what, you just look in the phone book or you know these kids or how do you get in touch with other kids from other schools um partly we looked in the phone book and contacted the activity director at various schools and then they connected us to kids in their school who helps you doing this i mean do you come up with all of these ideas yourself or is there a team of uh you know adults helping you guys we're guided we have mentors for adults but they just just push push us in the right direction and we take it from there i guess I think a key aspect of Malama Jam is the idea of youth making a difference for youth and other people. So a big task for us has been a group of high school students essentially running Malama Jam with mentorship. So it's been essentially us. So are you folks part of the musicians? Or are you folks just kind of helping to organize and bringing these students together? Um, no, we pretty much just are in charge of bringing things together. <laughs> we haven't... Uh, presented anything ourselves, except for River. Last year, his band did play a few numbers at the concert. You sing, River? No, I, I play bass. Oh, okay. So when you say concert, is this more for, you know, the high school students, the college students, or of people like us, you know? Would we enjoy this type Old of music? Old people. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys would enjoy the music. Um, we try not to, we, we make it so it's a family event, so we have oldies music, as well as maybe a rock band. Oldies from what, like the 90s? <laughs> <laughs> no, we had like uh, Johnny B. Good and Lady Madonna. So, yeah, I think it appeals to all ages. So let's talk about the first year you guys did this event then. What, what happened? How did you, what, what happened after the first steps? How did it go? What came about from it? I guess my label for Malama Jam is PR chair. So the first year for me, it was pretty much starting from scratch where I had to learn how to make phone calls, how to pretty much sell Malama Jam in a really short amount of time because I'd call people at newspapers and radio stations and I'd have to sell it like that. So give us a pitch. What's the pitch? You call us over here. You want, you oh, want no. what, advertising? Is that what you want? Um, Let's hear the pitch. The first year, it was advertising coverage of the event. At that time, we weren't yet asking for auditions. We were pretty much trying to get whatever resources we could. but um, So the pitch would be, Hi, my name is Jackie Chang. I'm a student calling. I'm involved with a benefit concert called Malama Jam. Oh, I haven't given this spiel. In a- <laughs> okay, Jackie, Malama Jam. What, so what are you guys doing? What, Malama what do you Jam is a benefit concert that showcases uh, talented local youth. It's a good family event. All of the proceeds from this event will be going to the local charity of our choosing for this year, which is IHS. What makes our event unique is that it's pretty much it's a youth-powered event making a difference in the community. Our big message is not only for us to be successful in making a difference, but to get the word out that kids can make a difference and to encourage other people to do an event of their own. And then do you ask them for something at the end of that, or you just tell them that's what we do, bye? Um, no, um, our event... Our event for this year is May 21st, so I'd say, our event is May 21st. Would you be able to come down and cover our event? Would I be? Able, would you be interested in writing an article about us? Do you have any questions for me? Is there a time where I can call you back and follow up? How about work. advertising? Do you pitch them on advertising? Pretty much the advertising for the first year, we had posters. And then Why Not the Sea Rider Productions, they made a PSA for us. Oh. So... Along with that was getting people to see if they'd play our PSAs on TV. Were a lot of people excited about your pitch or your folks' idea? Or did they say, well, we'll kind of see and if we have time, you know? I got mixed responses. But for the most part, if I conveyed my message like clearly about what Malama Jam was and who was running this, actually people got really excited and thought it was actually a pretty extraordinary thing that 
a bunch of high school students are putting on an event to this level. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.